वेलकम टू दिस सेशन आई एम डॉक्टर एस अनुषा तीमी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एरोनॉटिकल इंजीनियरिंग हाई टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन वन ऑफ द टॉपिक कॉल्ड लुब्रिकेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट आर द लुब्रिकेंट्स एंड व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ लुब्रिकेंट्स एंड व्हाट आर द क्लासिफिकेशन टाइप्स ऑफ लुब्रिकेंट्स एंड प्रॉपर्टीज एंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ लुब्रिकेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी What are the characteristics to be a good lubricant? We are going to detail discuss on this all these things today. First, what is a lubricant? A lubricant is a substance. It usually made of organic, means it is mostly carbon and hydrogens. It contains only carbon and hydrogens. It is organic. Introduced to reduce friction between two surfaces in mutual contact. which ultimately reduces the heat generated when the surface moves suppose there are two uneven surfaces so when they move what cause what happens this is one surface another surface so when it is uneven when it moves it causes a friction it results in the formation of heat so to reduce the friction we this lubricant has to be introduced between these two surfaces in because which ultimately reduces the heat generated between the two surfaces on the movement of these two surfaces it may also have the function of transmitting forces and transporting foreign particles are heating or cooling the surfaces so based on the friction it functions like heating or cooling the surface or the transporting foreign particles so the process is called the lubrication so the lubrication is a process of reducing this friction caused between the two surfaces this is called the lubrication process where in between two the moving surfaces so it is moving here so between the two moving surfaces if it is reduced the friction then the process is called the lubrication and the property of reducing the friction is called the lubricity so this is called the lubricity lubrication and about the lubricants so here the, if we see these are the gears so on movement of these two gear or what happens the friction happens the heating of the surface happens so to reduce this friction these lubricants are add, used generally here we can see in the, on the engine on rotating it causes the friction so it reduces the friction by adding the lubricants so it is a substance what is lubricant it is a substance which used in between two moving substances or two engines or two gears or two moving surfaces this added between them to reduce the friction it also reduces the wear and the usability so it reduces uh, it reduces the friction and increases the wear and usability of this machinery between two moving surfaces if we can see here this is one surface this is another surface so without lubricant or without oil so the surface of one object is uneven here the surface of another object is uneven here we can see the one and two surfaces when they are moving so it causes the friction between these two surfaces so on introduction of the oil this the movement will be smooth and the friction will be reduced and the machinery wear and the ability to work will increase because of using this lubricants so what are the functions of lubricants so it prevents the direct contact between the two moving surfaces and reduces the wear tear and surface deformation of the concerned part of a machinery so it reduces the waste of energy because for moving on friction for moving it needs more energy more fuel is needed but because of using this lubricants it reduces the waste of energy so that the efficiency of the machine will be increased or enhanced so it reduces the frictional heat and prevents the expansion of metals due to the heat generated between the two surfaces so this is one gear so between the here another gear so between the two uneven surfaces when it was moved here so what happens this the metal expansion because of this generate without lubricant what happens it heat are heat generated so the heat generation results in the expansion of metals generally the metals expand on heating so this generation of uh, the friction between these two surfaces results in the formation of heat 
this heat results in the formation of this expansion of metals so it uh, it reduces the so by using this lubricants we can reduce the friction friction is reduced then heat generation is reduced so no expansion of metals so here we are reducing the friction no heat generation no expansion of metals this increases the life span of a machinery of a particular part it acts as a coolant it also acts as a coolant by removing the frictional heat and generated due to the rubbing of surfaces on movement the on movement of these two surfaces it generates a heat so it acts as a coolant and it also minimizes corrosion as it is a organic substances so these organic substances generally prevent the corrosion so this uh, this lubricants acts as a coolant and a corrosion prevention and reduces waste of money waste of energy and that it reduces the heat and friction so these are the functions of a general a lubricant so what are the important characteristics of a good lubricant so first and foremost important is viscosity so the a good lubricant has an appropriate viscosity which ensures it remains liquid across a wide temperature range because in a machinery we will increase the temperature accordingly uniform in temperature should not be there so the lubricant which we are using should resist the temperature change and it should maintain the particular viscosity so throughout the instrument and through, throughout the wide temperature range so generally this is measured in, in the terms of viscosity index so so the viscosity of a liquid is generally measured in terms of the viscosity index so it should be it should remain as a liquid across the temperature range so and next the important characteristic of a good lubricant is high boiling point and low freezing point so these properties allows the lubricant to function effectively under varying conditions so it should be effective even under high boiling uh, conditions and a low uh, freezing point so next uh, next thing is thermal stability the lubricant should withstand temperatures without breaking down throughout the step throughout the process used in the machinery this thermal stability should be a good characteristic property of a good lubricant next is hydraulic stability they maintain consistent performance in hydraulic systems means uh, this pressure on the hydraulic pressure is applied it should maintain the good performance and demulchability it is the ability to separate to separate from water to other contaminants so it it should act as a uh, it should uh, act as a demulchability pro property so it has the ability to separate from water from the or other contaminants so the lubricant should have this property next is the corrosion prevention the, this these lubricants actually protect surfaces from corrosion being organic substances and they should be resistant to oxidation so oxidation means the reaction with the oxygen so these lubricants should should not react with the oxygen they resist chemical degradation over time with oxygen and the next property is the pore point the lowest temperature at which the liquid flows is called the pore point so it should uh, for a good lubricant it this uh, character should sticks should be there for a lubricant so generally then what are the lubricants we know what is the chemistry involved in the lubricants so it may be a mineral acid means nothing but the petroleum by products example petrol atom and uh, paraffin oil are the synthetic it may be a synthetic example crystals or silicones or grease and another thing is vegetable oils which may be normal uh, paraffin oils or vegetable oils may be olive oils castor oils and non liquid lubricants which are non liquid form they are called graphite and pfft tape so this graphite powder is also used as a lubricant and pfft tape also commonly known as a teflon tape which is used to seal the uh, components or seal the machinery to reduce the friction this tape also used so this is also used called as a lubricant then we are moving to the types of lubricants based on their uh, based on their existence one is solid lubricants next is liquid lubricants and another type is semi solid lubricants and the fourth is the gaseous lubricants so coming to the solid lubricants this these lubricants include all sort of lubricants which are in a solid form 
and which are like graphite powder or graphene which have composites and coatings present in it comes under this solid lubricants. Coming to the liquid lubricants, these liquid lubricants include a very sort of mineral oil or natural base of liquid that can act as a lubricant. So the mineral oil is nothing but the uh, paraffin oil, naphthalene oil or anthracene oils and the natural base of liquid like vegetable oils which are exist in liquid forms comes under the liquid lubricants category. Coming to the semi-solid liquid category, semi-solid lubricants, this includes which is like not like solids like graphene powder, which is not like liquids, that's why the name itself the semi-solid, which includes grease, so which is a byproduct of the petroleum products, which is generally present in minerals and vegetable oils and consists of a soap emulsified in it. So this under the, this comes under the semi-synthetic, semi-solid lubricants. And the last and the fourth one is the gaseous lubricants. They typically include lubricants in the form of a gas which is called a air. So, this air acts as a lubricant and by the air flow, it reduces the friction between the two moving surfaces. So, these are the four types, namely liquid, solid, semi-solids and the last one is gaseous lubricants. So, coming to the properties of the lubricants, Lubricants and the prop and their properties are very essential for any mechanism. So one of the most important properties of lubri lubricants is the viscosity. So the viscosity is defines as the internal resistance of the fluid. So the viscosity it should be the viscosity should be uniform throughout the process of using using this lubricants. So suppose we are using some lubricant in a machinery. It should maintain the viscosity should be, the viscosity of the liquid should be uniform all over the process even at high temperature even for the thermal stability and oxygen stability and it should be it should be inert to oxidation means it should not react with the oxygen or any other chemicals. So following the viscosity the next is the thermal stability means the lubricants also determine to be a good property because it refers to the ability of the lubricants to resist and break down at high temperature. So it should have, it should resist to the high temperature and it should, it should have a better performance even at a low freezing points. So this is the property of the lubricant and the next property is the oxidation stability. So this should be, the lubricant should be inert to the oxygen. So like it is referred to as one of the most important property because yeah, for any lubricant because it refers to the ability of the lubricant to resist in chemical combination even in the regarding oxygen. So it should not react with the oxygen. It should be inert to the oxygen. So this is called the oxidation stability of a lubricant. So the importance of lubricants. The lubricants play an important role in the improvement of the efficiency of any automobile and machinery in industry. Generally, these lubricants are used to improve the better performance or the, to improve the lifespan of a machinery or at any automobile to reduce its friction between the two moving surfaces. It is often seen that the energy efficient lubricants as one of the cost one of the most cost effective methods than conventional lubricants. This uses of lubricants can also decrease the cost or loss of energy because it reduces the friction. Then the lubricant reduces the friction among the surfaces which are in mutual contacts and also reduces the heat generated between the two surfaces. So and increases the efficiency thereby what happens it increases the efficiency of the mechanism and the longevity or the lifespan of the machine is enhanced or the automobile is enhanced because it reduces the friction then automatically it results in the less formation of heat between the two moving surfaces and then it reduces the increases the efficiency of mechanism and longevity of the specific part of a machinery or an, an automobile. If machines are properly lubricated in a proper way, in a regular manner, then the lifespan of the machine also get increased because of uh, this uses of good lubricants in a good state. 
so the the choice of lubricant should be important the based on the characteristic we have to choose a lubricant and based on the application we have to choose a lubricant if it is used in a proper way in a proper manner definitely it increases the longevity of the performance of the machinery will be improved or enhanced so then what are the role of a lubricant generally coming to a vehicle sector like automobile industry it plays a very very vital role because if we see from the car engine to the all the parts this lubricant is mandatory and it is used all over the automobile industry as it cools at the hot areas of any engine and the moving parts of the vehicle and the moving parts of the engine so on continuous uh, a uh, friction on continuous moving it causes the friction it acts as a coolant and another property is it acts as to prevent the corrosion it has acts as an anti corrosive agent so it prevents corrosion and also acts as a coolant means it cools down the engine parts the use of lubricants generally also decreases the heat and it acts as a coolant it cools down the engine parts which are moving continuously and it also reduces the friction among these engines and the lubricants also improve the efficiency of the engine which reduces the consumption of the fuel for vehicle so here what happens these lubricants on smooth moving so the use of lubricants also decreases the energy or the fuel consumed by the vehicle or automobile because if suppose lubricant is not not there means it it has to be moved very hard so very hard means the uh, fuel is consumed very more so the, the consumption of the fuel will be high so the uses of lubricants generally in general the uses of lubricants decreases the fuel consumption of a particular machine or a vehicle or an automobile industry so generally these lubricants can protect the mechanical parts of the engine from corrosion so it is also acting as a coolant and also acting as a corrosion anti corrosive agent which also guarantees long life and efficiency of the engine definitely enhanced so the the uses of lubricants results in the first thing is it protects from the mechanical part the it protects the mechanical parts of the engine so the here we can see the lubricants the the moving two moving surfaces in the rotation it causes the friction so because of the fuel uh, this uh, because of this lubricant uses it reduces the friction and also so friction decreased means it won't uh, come in contact so what happens it won't come in contact means it won't so here if it is come in contact they rub each other and the, the mechanical parts of the engine definitely will spoil because of continuous friction here the uses of lubricants it protects it protects the mechanical parts of the engine and increases the efficiency of a machine efficiency of the engine and the long life span of the and the long life of the machine means it will work for a longer period so the lubricants can also help the engine to kept very clean and also guarantee a long life for the engine which help the engine parts to be very clean and good in condition so because of the uses of these lubricants so due to the friction due to the reduction of the friction it won't expand its metal if the heat is generated the metal here all the metals are used in the machinery so when heat is generated there is a possibility of expansion of metals so by using these lubricants we can reduce this and we can reduce the heat generation it acts as a coolant it acts as a anti corrosive agent and it increases the and it increases or enhances the life span of a particular or a specific part of a machine in the automobile industry as well as in industries so this is about the lubricants and the characteristics of a good lubricant and types of the lubricant and the role of a lubricant in vehicle sector as well as in the machineries thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates